Hello everybody and welcome back to Skyblock. And first off, I must apologise for the audio in the previous episode. Uh, I'm not quite sure what went wrong with my microphone, but uh, it didn't record my audio. At a point where I could li listen to it back at the right level, I had to massively lower some of the levels in the uh, in the Audacity software in order to get it to produce something which was listening to a ball. So hopefully that didn't cause too many problems, but um, yeah, sorry about that. But basically, between episodes, I have allowed my uh, system over here to run to the point of producing a stupidly large amount of obsidian. I then built some more tanks, as you can imagine, and my lava tanks down here are filling up nicely. The computer is still running, but today it's going to be about visiting the nether regions. Now, I don't know what to expect from a visit to the nether, so we will... Uh, drop off useful supplies such as dirt and wood into here pick up some cobblestone for some reason in this chest uh, I guess I can put feathers in the mob jobs for now I don't need my watering can uh, I've got this chest of random crap somewhere, that'll do don't need item ducts or fluid ducts don't need two lava generators we'll take my sword, we'll take my pick I don't need my wrench that's for protection and spawning. I do need the quest book because there is a quest. I'll take a bucket just in case something cool. Torches, not necessarily needed. Uh, I need flint and steel, don't I, to light it up? I've probably got one somewhere. Not that I would know where or why I've got it anywhere. But um, we can just grab. I can't because apparently nothing is clicking. Grab some iron out of there. I can then take more flint than I had ever intended to take out of there. This is a flint and steel. I can put the rest of that back into there. Okay. So the nether portal is going to be built somewhere over here, away from the daily activities so that it's not loud and annoying. Um, pretty sure I might as well save cobblestone as much as I can. In that sense, can I mine this back now? Yeah. There's no point. anything else is there? What's the point in not taking advantage of the fact that I could save a little bit of cobble if I wanted to. Save a little bit of obsidian even if I wanted to. Sorted. So there we have it. The nether is up. Now, I don't obviously want to take all of this obsidian with me. I'll take a potion flask of fire resistance though, that seems like a good idea. And I will grab some um, some food. Uh, I'll take a hamburger or something, shall we? A couple of hamburgers. And a quick drink of the old blueberry smoothie. I don't think we're going to be in the nether for long. I do want to take some obsidian with me in case I die. So that's two along the bottom, two along the top, three down the sides, and six. Yeah, that's good. So we got that, and we got that, so we can get back. Got my potion flask of regen. Let's go and see what the nether brings. I have a feeling the nether is going to bring horrible, horrible things. But actually, if I can get some, uh, if I can get, so if I can get some, if I get some soul sand. Something's dying. Um, 
waypoints, new waypoint, exit done. Oh, hello. You not going very friendly, are you? Let's take my swig of my fire resistance potion in, because apparently I'm going to need it against these silver fishy bastards that are all hovering around. Some sort of ghost mushroom. Ow. The hell was that? Just set me on fire for no apparent reason. Where'd you go? I can't see through all of the... Uh, on screen fire, but at the same time, I thought I killed you. So, what the hell is this? A sulfur cloud. Why the hell would I want a sulfur cloud? Converts 2x2 two two into sulfur. So, logically, if I did this. I get sulfur, which converts into gunpowder. Fair enough. Let's grab some sulfur then while we're here. Nether quartz. Let's grab some of that. This seems to be going quite well. Looting wise, I don't know if this has got luck on it or something. But there is obviously a waypoint I have to get to in order to get the uh, minus 149 60 85, 40 meters away. So minus 49 60 185, minus 49. Can I not necessarily cheat? But, whoops, waypoints, new waypoint, minus 49, 60, uh, I've forgotten, um, minus 49, 60, 185, okay. over there. Hang on. Minus 49, 60, 185. If I go this way. Okay, so this is a dangerous adventure. If I do so so myself. Oh, you proper bell end. I can't even see it hit it. What's that? Poison. I'm going to die. There's nothing I can do about the poison. Nothing I can do. Oh! Finished me on half a heart. Ow. Wow. Why have I got mining fatigue and weakness and all this crap? What's going on here? There we go. It's starting to disappear now. Oh, it's because my health is so low. I see. Holy shit. <laughs> um... Yeah, so surviving in here is going to be a, a pain in the ass, isn't it? <laughs> I don't particularly want to repeat that experience if I can avoid it. So we will 
build. Oh shit. Apparently I'm in the cloud. That's not what I intended to be. What? What? I can't understand what's happening. Fucking hell. <sighs> Where am I going to respawn? Back at my base. Okay. So it turns out the nether is apocalyptically crazily hostile. And I am not equipped to deal with it. Even my fire resistance potion wasn't enough to, uh, to keep me going in the nether. So I might have to uh, I might have to leave the nether alone for now because Jesus Christ that was mean. Um, bollocks! I'm disappointed by how badly I did there. That's that's not gone well for me at all. Let's grab uh, another hamburger. I'm gonna eat my comfort eat. Balls. So is it raining? It's not raining over here in the desert. So this is all good. I've built my house in the desert. Well, apparently it's not desert there. So this area of my... <laughs> it's, not, it's not raining here. Uh, so this quest is not going to be very easy because that sucked. Um, yeah. Screw you. Um... Screw you, game. Uh, you didn't help me very much at all. That has fortune. Fortune five. Ooh. So it's not even. I'm supposed to know which one of those is empowered. I don't know. But yeah, that sucked. Massively sucked. So we lost a life, and so therefore we can't really afford to keep doing that. Uh, is it night time, or is it not night time? No. They've got a creeper over here. We should go and see how badly that does. One on one, it takes a creeper down. It's cool. Uh, snow is quite freaky. Rain is quite annoying. I'm a little bit shell shocked by my destruction in the Nether. I'm going to be honest. Uh, not happy with that at all. But at the same time, there's nothing I can do about it because I was genuinely outgunned in the nether by all the evil bastards that live there. Got some nether rack, didn't find any soul sand, which is kind of what I wanted so that I could uh, sift it, get some more nether quartz. Um, bugger. Bugger, 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 bugger. So let's have a look at this, shall we? Stand in another gap between the rain. Um, so magma crystal requires nether brick, which you get from cooking nether rack, which I now have. So we might have to go back to the nether and just get some more nether brick. Just quickly just rock up and uh, run away. Oh shit, don't want to put the fire on. You're a penis. I'm aware that some of the, uh, the monsters that have been attacking and killing me spawned when you mine these mind this so just grab a stack and get out of here that's gonna do me just fine don't go back in there okay so 
for those eight will be absolutely sufficient, but I've got a stack exactly. That's good. Uh, so the magma crucible is one thing. What's the other thing that I need? Uh, something to do with... Fluid transposing. Just glass bucket and a machine frame. Okay. I'll retrieve all of my useful things. my bucket in a second one. There's a fluid transposer. And then we should have our eight nether bricks now. Which isn't a problem. We should be able to put this into four to get two nether bricks. We need to make a machine frame which is gold iron and one more glass than I have which is slightly annoying Whee. oh you stood up have you sit down sit down come here not quite sure why you decided to follow me around as is always the way with me I have built this in the wrong order. Machine frame. So what is the magma crucible? That seems rather expensive. Why do I need to put an energy cell on top of that? Just to be irritating. Block of redstone, glass and lead. Well, that's not particularly difficult to make. Um, just check it out, have one. Block of redstone. Rain is annoying. Uh, what am I doing? Okay. Boom! Done. So now we just need to power it very briefly. So, uh, Mango Crucible with Fluid Transposer. And some redstone. Quite sure how much redstone is needed for this. I need to get some electrum to make energy conduit. Oh, it would require hardened glass, wouldn't it? What a turd. Oh, so annoying. Right, well, I'm going to have to leave that for a little bit then because hardened glass is going to be a little bit beyond the uh, the scope of my abilities for just a small while. Hardened glass might have to be the next because I'm assuming hardened glass is going to require... an induction smeltar. So yeah, lead and eight pulverized obsidian. Excellent. And by excellent, I mean not excellent. 
Whew. Righty guys, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you continue to enjoy. Uh, sorry for the failure of the episode, which was going to the nether and then dying. But um, I might have to have a look at other ways of travelling in the nether. A um, bit more safe, involving jetpacks and things perhaps, before I can <laughs> succeed in that quest. Alright, I will see you in the next episode. Bye for now.